What's up, guys? Welcome to Making MLS Offers Live, where we make MLS offers live. What else is there to do? Hey, so I did actually do a little switcheroo with the calls for today. I originally was going to do a different call, but then I'm like, wait a minute. Both the original live stream, the how to find deals on the MLS, and this new live stream that I've created are pretty much the same thing. So I'm like, fuck it. Let's make it a three hour long live stream or maybe longer. Let's see what I feel like. Um, but for now, it's going to be like a three hour long live stream. You guys are going to get to follow along as we make MLS offers for like three hours. And my goal is to make 15 MLS offers. Uh, I think it's doable. So we just got to get right into it. We don't have a bunch of time to uh, to mess around. We got to be straight to business. So let me pull up. Okay, cool. Um, and I have some offers that are ready to be submitted from yesterday. So I'm going to start with submitting those offers from yesterday. So let's see. So the first one is Robert. Let's check. Um, okay. So we need to offer him 205. So we're going to open up Robert's contact. Do we have his email? Yes, we do. Um, let's wait for this to load. Okay, yeah, so we can just email him our offer because we remember we prep him on the call and we say, hey, can you send me your email? I'm going to email you my offer once it's uh, ready to go. And good morning, Marcella. Good morning, Reggie. Good morning, John. Thank you guys for being here. Today's going to be an extra special, extra long live stream. Um, we're going to go for 15 offers today. So I think I think we're perfectly capable of getting 15 offers out, um, but we're definitely going to push our limits. It's not even really a limit. It's just push us past our comfort zone. Okay, so we're going to go uh, 1995, 195,000 actually, sorry. Um, everything else looks good. EMD, two grand. Cool. So we have this offer ready from yesterday that we're going to submit. Offer for property address, 2121 Academy Boulevard. And attach my proof of funds. Downloads. POF. Boom. Okay, so we just sent our first offer. Um, hey, John. No, sorry, not John. Um, hey, Robert. I sent you my offer for property address. Did you get it? Question mark. Boom. Awesome. There we go. That's the first offer out. And let's track our KPIs. Ah, hold on. Let me sign into the right account. There we go. Uh, March 8th. One written offer out. Okay. Now we can add him to the offer submitted category. Boom. And we have Maureen. Maureen has two properties that we need to submit an offer on. So this is going to be like a double whammy. Like right out the gate, we're going to be doing really good. Um, we got some more people in here. Good morning, Bavik. Bavik. Good morning, Bavik. Good morning, Lasellas. Thank you. Thank you. He's, he says, good morning, beautiful people. Okay. So this one, let me use my template. Offer template. Address. Purchase price. Uh, Fifty three thousand. EMD two thousand. And we will subject line will be offer for property address. send and i also need to send her um the other one 
So I'm just going to pop that address there for a second. Okay, so the first one has been submitted. Now we have the second one. And we need to grab the template. Offer template. Okay, purchase price for the second one is, let's see here, 70,000. EMD, 2000. Okay, let's copy that whole thing. Pop it in an email. Offer for property address. Then we will attach my proof of funds. POF. And guys, I'm just going to be going hard because I got to get 15 offers out. That's the goal. Um, Okay, send. So there we go. I just sent her two different emails with each of my offers. I'm going to say, hey, M-A-U-R-E-E-N. I just sent you my offer for and the other one as well. 923 Prospect Street. Did you get them? Good. Awesome. And now we will put her into the offer submitted category as well. Cool. Uh, Ryan says, let's go. Hell yeah, bro. Dude, we're at three offers already and the live stream just started. Um, that's be but I, I did, I did kind of cheat a little bit there cause I had them from before. So, um, those are from yesterday that I didn't get out yet. Okay. So this one here, Chris, we're going to submit an offer to Chris real quick. So, guys, I kind of figured out a really good way, workaround um, to make it faster for submitting the offers is prep them on the phone. Be like, hey, can you send me your email address? I'm going to send you my offer um, once it's complete. And that helps a ton. This guy, however, I don't have his email address. So let me – I'm going to have to call him. Hello. Hey, good morning, Craig. Hello. Yeah. Hey, um, I have an offer for you on the 44th Street property. I just, I don't have your email address here. I just wanted to grab that from you real quick. It's Choice Real Estate, M-I-A. Choice. At gmail.com. Real. Hey, do you mind texting that to me? I'm not sure if I heard that right. Yeah, sure. I'll send it over the card now. Okay, perfect. Then I, oh, he hung up on me. Okay, whatever. Um, That works. Let's see if he sends us that email address. We'll come back to him later, um, and hopefully he'll have prepared it by then. All right, so now we're going to hit the initial call category, and we're just going to start reaching out like madmen, like madmen. Okay, anyways, um, enough being dramatic, Nathan. Um, Ryan says, what's your average conversion rates on offers out of every hundred offers we get about four acceptances and out of every four acceptances we get about one closing um, ryan says ryan put his email up but i'm i'm going to keep that in mind but i'm also going to wait for him to text me his email address just because it autofills um so it makes it easier but thanks for catching that bro um, good oh Good morning, Alvaro. Hello? Hey, Renato. It's Nathan. How are you? I'm doing good. Hey, I uh, I came across your listing, the one on uh, on Combe Road. I'm kind of interested in it. Mm -hmm. I, I was about to run my numbers, but I just wanted to touch base with you first and get a better understanding of what I'm getting into with this project. You there? Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. So could you just help me understand, like catch me up to speed? It's it's looking like it's everything, right? New roof, AC, water heater, windows, everything. If if not a teardown. Um wait, which part which which property are you talking about? Eight ten North Combe Road. 
No, that's a that's a that's a complete rehab. Okay, okay. So we're talking roof, AC, water heater, everything. Everything. Yeah, it, it might be even a knockdown. Yeah. Right. Okay. Are there any foundation issues? Termite damage? Mold? No, no. It's just old and I'm not sure what it would have. It's just uh, it's old. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Well, yeah, I'll budget for everything then. I'll even uh, explore the option of teardown. Do you have an email? Of course, you have an email. Are you um, are you um are you are you are you a, a wholesaler? I've wholesaled before. Does that make me a wholesaler? Uh, yeah. Okay, then I guess so. Um, but I'd be looking for this for myself. Okay. okay. Yeah, Is, you want to send an offer? Sure, no problem. Um. Can you text me your email address? Or, but it, here, let me grab your email from you right now. What is what is your email? Again? What's your email address? R E N. R E N. Eighty. Eighty. Sixteen. Sixteen. At gmail.com. Gmail.com. Okay, so R E N. 8016 at gmail.com. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm going to run my numbers and I'll send you an offer shortly. No problem. Thanks, Thank Renato. You. Take care. Cool. Okay. Um, so we're going to go back to the deal card and we are going to input this information. So needs everything, if not uh, tear down. Okay, and we are going to send that to underwriting. Okay, cool. Uh, then we track our KPIs and move on to the next one. Okay. So the next one, I should pull it up before I call it. That way I don't have to like wing it like I did on the last one. Um, okay, so this one here, um, new roof installed in 2023. I'm gonna take that down. What else? Okay, that's pretty much it. Let me take a quick peek at the photos. This one looks okay. Why did why did Ben add this, bro? Dude, I don't know why you added this one. It was be Ben added it because of the kitchen, dude. I don't know. Eh. eh. Um at i'm gonna message my va at ben i don't this one i would pass on okay so i'm gonna pass on that one i don't want that one um so we are just going to go abandon not distressed Update and abandon. Pardon me. Okay, back to work. Um, do, 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 do. Let's pull this one up. Yo, Yoel says, what's cooking good looking? Um, okay, let's see here. Harvey says, good morning, squad. Alvaro says, wasn't he the slightest bit peeved by the wholesale thing? Yeah, but I don't really give a shit. You can deal with it. Um, but you see my, you heard my response. I've wholesaled before. Does that make me a wholesaler? 
Um, Verdon says, Buenos dias, everyone. What's up? Okay, let's take a look at this property. Um, so it has a pool. Not really much information on the big ticket items. Pool is unfilled. And the property looks a little bit beat. Okay, yeah, this is worthy of calling. So, looks like Carlos owned this lead in the past, but Carlos is no longer with us. Um, so, I will just transfer the ownership to Nathan and call them. Melshire is her name. Press one to be connected with the listing agent. This call may be recorded. So whenever I hear the whole like press one to be connected with the listing agent, I'm like, oh my God, it's annoying. It, they usually don't answer. It's usually some automated ser voicemail service that just is a complete waste of time. So I abandon them. Um, I don't want to get caught up on them. Don't want to waste my time with them. I'll move on to the next. Okay, next one is Lynn M. Powers. And I will pull this one up on Zillow real quick before I call. Okay, looks pretty beat. They have any information on the age of the roof, AC, water heater? Yep. Um, new roof 2022, no sight in, seen offers. I don't care. Um, Offers must be on far bar contract in order for seller to review cash or hard money only hard money financing. This one sounds like a mess. Let me call them. Oops. Here, let me share my screen again. I accidentally closed it. Hello, this is Lynn Powers. I'm unable to... Okay, we'll double dial. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. That's, that makes me feel special. Thank you. Hello. This is okay, so Lynn is not answering. So what I will do is I will put her in the no response category. And you know what's really cool is I created my CRM so that it will automatically send a text um, saying, hey, call in and make an offer on property address. Can you give me a call back? And that, that happens automatically if they go into the no response category. Um, and then I will also track my KPIs. So that'll be another MLS listing called. Cool. And back to the offers. Okay. So Eric Diaz, or sorry, Eric Davis. Boom. Let me pull it up on Zillow real quick. Only has two photos. Eh, I don't like that. 31 days on market, only two photos. Maybe there's another website with more photos. Let me check real quick. Uh, yeah, there's just two photos. Why, why? How am I able to make an accurate judgment with two photos? Uh, 
two, 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 two. And okay, I don't, I don't know why there's only two photos, but I don't like it. And I am going to say, at Ben, why did you add this one? Okay. And I'm going to abandon it. Okay, let me pull up the next one. Okay, this one's got 23 photos. Good. All right, so let's see. Um, nothing about the age of the roof, AC water heater. kind of dated this one qualifies for me to call let's call give me some if you guys like this love feedback hello hey is this andres yeah, speaking. Hey, Andres. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that listing that you have on 36th. Okay, yep. Yeah. Well, I'm interested in it. I was about to run my numbers, but I realized that I, I didn't have enough information. I'm wondering as to the age of the roof, AC, water heater, and if there's any major issues I should budget for. No. So the house has no violations, no open permits. Uh, the roof, I believe, is four years old or three years old. Um, the kitchen appliances are still on the fridge are almost two years old. The air conditioning is almost three or almost two years old. So the air conditioning is new. The uh, roof is new. Uh, no no virus, no permits. The appliances are new in the kitchen. Everything is original. There's something that's been remodeled except the master uh, bathroom. That's what, what's been remodeled. Uh, the plumbing is PVC. Uh, water here, I haven't asked. Uh, the, I don't know. I don't know when they change water heater. Um, what else? And what other what other questions did you have? Nah, you're thorough. Did you want to know? You're thorough. That was uh, that was pretty good. Um. Okay. Is it is it currently vacant? Tenant occupied? Owner occupied? It's owner occupied at the moment. Okay. What kind of a close of escrow are they going for? Uh, close of escrow. I'm not too sure. I don't know if that's my people. Okay. Because I work in a team as well. You work at a Keegley? I work. I work in a team as well. Like I, it's not just me working as well. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Well, let me let me run my numbers on it, and I'll give you a. Actually, why don't I just send you an email with my offer? What's your email address? Yeah, you can do that. Uh, it's Andres Santana. The realtor, Andres, Santana, the realtor at gmail.com. Okay, cool. Awesome. I'm going to fire you my, uh, my offer in a little bit and I'll send you a text once I send it to you. Awesome. For sure. Thank, Thank you. I appreciate my it. pleasure, Andres. You have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Cool. That was nice and easy. Okay, so track our KPIs. All right. Um, update. Send to underwriting. Okay, Ben gave us a response on why he added the other one. He said he can see that it's a duplex. Um, it seems distressed though, has no pics inside. Okay, so let me let me pull up that one that Ben added. I didn't like that. He um,
I'm going to just say I would pass on this one because all we know is it's dirty on the outside and nothing else. Okay, cool. So that's done. All right, I think um, I think Alvin mentioned that one is completed now. Alvin's my underwriter. It's pretty cool. So I believe Alvin said that there's one completed in underwriting. There's two in underwriting complete. Let's check if Chris sent us his email from before. Loading. Mm, why is it taking so long to load? Refresh. There we go. Finally. Um, okay. So Chris sent his email. Um, I don't know what that is that he sent his business license. Congratulations. Um, okay. Choice real estate, MIA at gmail.com. Yeah, you were right. Choice C H O I C E real estate, M I A at gmail.com. Cool. Okay, so now we can use our template. And we can send him an offer based on our template. So we're going to grab property address, purchase price. And we need it below 191. So we're going to do 181 EMD two grand. Cool. And we will send that to him as an email. We'll say offer for property address. We will attach our POF. Send. Okay, and I will say, just sent you my offer for, did you get it? Okay. And I'm going to come back here. I'm going to put him in the offer submitted category. And I am going to track my KPIs. That's a written offer made. Cool. Now, close out of that. Okay. Now we have Renato. Okay. So Renato, we don't have his email address. Did he tell it to me? They didn't say that. Cool. There we go. All right. I saved his email address. Um, I thought I was calling someone Poppy to get that KPI sheet. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, 
honestly, we still haven't recorded the Loom video on how to use it. So we're a little bit uncomfortable sharing it just yet. Because like if we share it, like everybody's just going to ask us loads of questions on how to use it. So that that's definitely on our list. Um, this Saturday, we should have that recorded. So tomorrow we should record the Loom video on how to use it. And then we should be giving it out next week. Okay. Thanks for thanks for thanks for reminding me on that one though. But yeah, we we built a pretty dope KPI spreadsheet. Offer template. Okay. Copy. Um, oh, uh, Alvin said, for abandon, no matching comps. Okay. Um, so this one is actually for abandon. So since I don't have a text conversation going on with this agent, I don't really care if I just like leave it open-ended. Um, I'm just going to abandon this one. Okay. And we will move on to the next one. So we will call another... MLS listing. Let me pull it up on Zillow real quick. Take a look at it. So 33 photos, 160K. Looks pretty dated. I know you guys love to see it. Yeah, it looks pretty dated. Uh, Italian residence. Cool. Um, two f large full in-law suites. Okay. Let me give them a call. Hello. Hey, Nady. Um, my name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property that you listed on 191st Street. Yeah. What's uh, what's the story with it? I'm looking for another project. I'm willing to take on something big like this, but I was I was a little bit confused when you guys did the 150k price increase. Right. So let me explain to you the whole story. Um, there's three partners in New York that bought this two years ago for around 1.2-ish. Wow. And, um, they plan to put in around 300. And they're trying to sell it for 1.6? Yeah, Let me finish. Let me finish. And so they're trying, they wanted to put in 300K and um, put it either on Airbnb or flip it for 2 million. There's a lot of comps there for 2 to 3 million in the area. It doesn't really exist, such a house. It's hard to comp. It's double story. It's very big. A lot of square footage. 10,000 square foot lot on the lake. And the lake wraps around the whole house. So for Airbnb, it could be an absolute cash cow. Um, in the meantime, um, they found a tenant who was paying them seventy two fifty. So they put they put it in and um, and they halted any you know thoughts of work for the time being. Now one of the partners wants the cash. He wants to invest more in Jersey. He's done with Florida, so he's kind of forcing the sale. Um, so originally they said. The, the two partners called me, the one that wants to sell, said, just, just list it, I want a quick sale 1.4. And I listed it. And then the other guys called me and said, why are you listening without talking to us? It's huh. all our property and we, we want at least 1.6. You know, they've paid money and mortgage and costs and whatever. They don't want to, they're all in now for around 1.155. So with minus commissions, they want, he said, 1.6. Okay. So that's why I raised it. And in the meantime, this tenant, was doing something illegal. He he was supposed to be just a family. He was actually a guy who does Airbnb motel style living. So he put like bunk beds in all the rooms and made a games room and put the, like a yacht outside, for, like little boats for people to go. And he was charging a lot of money. He made around 15K a month, um, which was a break of the contract. So they just now evicted him and it was an absolute mess. I just went there yesterday with a few workers and we just cleaned the whole house and top to bottom. Okay. I, I, I don't want to waste your time. I think I'm going to pass on it. Just the price is like much too high. Um, it wouldn't make sense. No problem. Yeah. Do you have anything else though? Okay, no problem. Do you have any other fixer uppers or anything that could um, use some love? Yeah. Hold on one second.
Um, yes, I have a bunch of stuff. Um, I mean, what, what's your budget? What, what's because this is a very good project. This, this is a house that could be worth three million when you finish with it, if you put in, you know, four five hundred k. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for anything that I can make a 15% net net return on any kind of fix and flip, fix and hold stuff. Um, this one here, you know, like you said at the beginning, the comps are difficult with this one, given the uniqueness of this property. Um, and also given the purchase price, right. I, I'm, I'm not terribly excited for it. One other thing that kind of puts me on edge about this property right. is, you know, the fact that it's been on market for 31 days. And on Zillow, it's only had 489 views and 15 saves. Just kind of shows me that, you know, everybody else is feeling skeptical about this one as well. Um, but do you have any 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 other kind of stuff, any SFR? Um, so so the, the cheapest stuff that I could find you, 15% um, meaning you want, after after all your renovations and everything, you want to sell it for fifteen percent increase. Do you think? I want to make a fifteen percent profit. So like net net at the very end of the day, I want to put fifteen percent to my pocket after all costs. Right. Um, okay, I'll have to do some homework and see what I can find. Please, please, yeah. I think you could make that. I can think you can make more than fifteen percent on this one. I mean, what price would you buy this big one at? I'd still have to do an in-depth running my numbers on it, but probably closer to like what they got into it for, uh, like around 1.2, maybe 1.3. But I mean, that's conditioned upon me running my my numbers more in-depth. I'm just not terribly interested in this one. Um, I, you know, maybe if it was at 1.4, I would have, right. I would have, you know, ran my numbers and seen what we could do, but 1.6 is just definitely a no. Right. So what about 1.4? Bring us an offer. Do your numbers. See if it works. <laughs> I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna pass option. on it. If there's, an, if there's another option. Yeah. If they come, if they say... If, oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. Well, tell me. Tell me about that option. I'm interested in that. Now you got me. Now you got me back in the deal. I, I, uh, what kind of mortgage think, do they have? I think their rate... I'm not sure exactly which type, but the rate's going to be two years ago, which is an amazing rate. I think maybe 5.2. I have to check exactly what it is, but that's a possibility. Okay. I think the, the three, the three Hasidic Jews from, from New York, so they're open to, you know, different uh, creative ways to, to sell it. You know what? That I actually that would be, be a, I would be very interested in doing it that way. Um, can you get me the most recent mortgage statement right. and I'll run my numbers? Okay, I'll ask, I'll ask them for it. Perfect. Is that something that you think you'd be able to get me today? I can, I can, I can run my numbers on it. I, you know, it's a bit of a high entry cost, so yeah. I want to make sure that I, I have the capital I'll available. So the sooner the better. Right, I'll text them now. I mean, they're going to say that they want some cash up front, so you're going to have to put, let's say, five hundred grand down, um, and then the rest you'll you'll take over and just make the payments, and when you sell it, you'll finish off the rest. Okay, well let's let's take a look at it. Um, if you can give me that mortgage statement, I'll, I'll you know, I'll see where I can uh, work okay, with the I'll numbers. Okay, I'll take them now. Awesome, thank you so much, Natty. Talk soon, okay? Okay, no problem. Take care. Are you are you on WhatsApp? Um, no, I'm not on WhatsApp. Okay, so I'll send you a video. Okay, no problem. We'll be in touch. Send me a text with your name. Sure, I'll send you my contact card. Okay, perfect. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. You as well. Take care. Oh, nice. I like that. I know just the buyer if we can get that. As a matter of fact, I might even go live in Miami if we get that. Um, okay, so I'm going to put her in the uh, send realtor contact card. And I'm going to say motivation, multiple owners, one of them wants 
to invest in Jersey and wants out. Waiting on most recent MTG SDMT vacant. And I will put that in the waiting on info category. And then I'll track my KPIs. That's another MLS listing call, another agent conversation. Great. Um, can you send the MTG statement to Nathan at Rising Star Investment.com? Okay, cool. All right, next one, Neil. Let's pull that one up on Zillow real quick. Uh, fixer up, are you been waiting for? Yada, yada, yada. Um, nothing on the age of the roof AC water heater. Really big brick patio. Okay, cool. Good. Let's call. Cell phone and Neil Lasher. I'm sorry I missed your call. Please give me a message and I'll be back with you as soon as possible. Thanks. Okay, we'll double dial. <laughs> All right, no answer. So what we're going to do is we are going to drag her to the no response category. And that will automatically send her a text. Okay, give me one second. I'm going to use the washroom.
fuck, I was muted that whole time. Okay, I said, since we're going to be doing this for a couple of hours, um, we want to make sure that we're getting up. We want to make sure we're getting hyped. Otherwise, we're going to get boring. We're going to, you know, sound less enthusiastic. So don't be scared to get up during your day, you know, kind of like get the blood flowing, right? Do some jumps. Hype yourself up. Woo! Let's go! Oh, yeah. Right? Don't be scared to do that. Um, drink water. Drink lots of coffee or caffeinated tea. That works, too. Let's open a window. Get some fresh air going. All right. Sometimes I forget to like break from making my calls and then it gets shitty. So, okay. So that's my little break. I feel good. I feel rejuvenated. A little bit of a reset and we will get back into it. Okay. So let's pull up the next one. Anastasia. We'll pull her up on Zillow real quick. Okay, we want to see anything about the age of the roof AC water heater. Uh, the house has, the house also has central AC. Oh wow, congratulations! Um, thanks for letting me know that there's no age, there's no age of the central AC. That's not that helpful. Um, okay, so we're gonna call. Boom. And. Anastasia. Hi, this is Anastasia with the Pizza team at Keller Williams Realty. I'm sorry I missed your call. Please. Okay, we'll double dial. Hi, this is Anastasia with the Pizza team at Keller Williams. Okay, no answer. So, what that means is we're going to send her. An automated text message uh, message reaching out, trying to get her to give me a call back. And we will track her KPIs. Update your KPIs. And then move on to the next one. Okay, I'm going to pull it up on Zillow real quick, take a quick peek at it. Um, okay, fixer upper, yada, 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 not in a flood zone. Um, updates include new 2024 roof, water heater, and AC. Cool. Great to know. Um, okay, yeah. I mean, that, they were pretty thorough on this one, so really just touching base with the agent before I uh, make an offer. Let me assign it to myself. Laura. Hey, Laura, this is Nathan. Um, I'm calling about that property that you listed on Della, Della Ake Avenue. On Bella, I, I don't have a property there. The um, 21070 uh, Del Lake Avenue. Oh, Del, Del Lake. I'm sorry. I didn't hear your pronunciation correctly. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Hey, so thank you for being really thorough in the description. I really just wanted to touch base with you and see if there's anything else that I need to know uh, before running my numbers on it. I'm looking to buy this for myself. I'm looking to take it down as a fix and flip. Um, I saw that you put okay. new new roof, new AC, new water, everything in 2024? Yes, okay. pretty much, yes. It, it had some damage from Hurricane Ian. Ian. It wasn't a tremendous amount, but it did... They did get a new roof and new water heater. Um, it needs a lot of work. I'm going to be honest with you. It's, it's probably the same flooring and kitchen counters from when it was built. Mm. Uh, it's not, it's livable. Like it's people moved out of it. It was an older couple, mm -hmm. it was their house for the last, you know, 40, 50 years, however long, but um, it, 
to flip it, you're going to have to pretty much all new aesthetics. It's going to take all new aesthetics. I'm I'm just a realist. Yeah, I, I like I want to sell the house, yes, but I don't. But I don't want you to walk in thinking it's some kind of super gem because I mean it's a great place, but it's definitely going to take some work. Well, I appreciate that. You know, there's a lot of realtors that try really hard to polish your turd. Like no matter how much you polish your turd, a turd is <laughs> yeah, still a right. turd. You can put sprinkles on it. You can do whatever you want, but. <laughs> I'm I'm in My the business. My husband always of... said you put lipstick on a pig. Exactly. You can't put lipstick. Well, you can put lipstick on a pig, but it's still a pig. Exactly. So yeah, you're right, and and I, that's my theory. So, I mean, I can send you more pictures. I can go video it. I can do more things if you're not able to get there to see it in person. But it um it would be a great flip because the neighborhood is really nice. Most of the houses around it are the same kind of, uh, you know, two bedroom, one car garage that this one is. So it's mm -hmm. not a, it, it's in the right area for that. I think it would be a great long term rental. Yeah, I was thinking um, either fix and an, fix and flip or fix and hold. I'm not sure quite what my exit yeah. strategy would be. Uh, is it currently vacant? It is currently vacant. Yes. Okay, so if I wanted to close like two weeks, that would be something doable yeah, for the sellers. For sure, it's totally doable. They would love that because it was an elderly couple that moved out. The husband passed away, oh. so they're just trying to unload it for um, the, their mom so that she has some money to live on. Mm, that sucks. That's the situation. Yeah, it does suck, really. But it's a, it is a great house, so they created a lot of memories there. I know it's, it's uh, you know, they, they're attached to it to a degree, but mm -hmm. it's empty. They, they moved back north, and... Um, it's a great little spot. You know, the good thing about it is this is the lipstick, but it, it really is lipstick. It's in Port Charlotte and Port Charlotte is mm -hmm. right on the edge of a huge boom. It is, so isn't it? It's a new Sunseeker Resort. I mean, we're, we're looking at the next Cape Coral, I think. Mm -hmm. I really do. Well, yeah, it's pretty close I mean, to that. In industry, so you get it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. You know, totally agree with everything you're saying. And I like the way that you approach it. I think being transparent and, as descriptive as possible is a great way to get it sold because you know us investors we will budget for the unknown and when we f get that vibe that realtors are you know polishing a turd we budget a little extra just in case <laughs> yeah right yeah okay no, I'm, I'm speaking 100 percent out you know honesty and i always i always do do my you know i come come forward with full transparency so if there's anything that i can help you with or you need additional information on just he you know don't hesitate to reach out i'm here for you um spin on the market a little bit make me an offer i will i will sounds good and why don't why don't i uh, i'll send you my offer template and then if you want to put it on a far bar and you want to represent me i'm cool with that as well i, I think you're uh you okay. sound like a pretty nice person pretty i would love to work with you I'm a Midwest girl, so you know what that's that means. good. There you go. You don't mess around. <laughs> okay. No, I don't mess around, but I'm, you know, I'm straightforward. So I'm mm -hmm. getting ready to go to a meeting. I'm going to be out of commission for like four hours. So if you don't hear from me for the next few hours, please don't um, panic. I'm just, I can't, I won't have access to my phone or anything for the next few hours. Okay, no worries. Well, why don't I email you over my offer? I'll send you a text once I've emailed mm -hmm. it over and, okay. and then we'll go from there. What, what's your email address? It's Lara, it's L A R A mm -hmm. S is in Sam McFerrin M C F is in Frank C -E R R A N at gmail dot com and I can respond to your call with my digital business card so you have that yeah if you could please and I can I can send yeah, you my contact well. card as well sure we'll do awesome sounds good well thanks know. thanks Laura I'll send that to you shortly okay yeah I appreciate the phone call thank you my pleasure take care take care. Such a polite lady. Such a polite lady. Very, very nice. Okay. And now we are going to track our KPIs. That's an MLS listing called Agent Conversations. Oh, I forgot to track from before. We added one agent today. Um, cool. Now, to let Alvin know that there are more properties to underwrite. Okay, cool. Um, what else? 
Let's let's check out the underwriting complete category. Let's see if we have more offers ready to go out. We're currently at four written offers made. Okay, so underwriting complete. Yep, we have another one ready to go out. So let's see here. Yep, we got an offer ready. Boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. Let's spend the night together from now until forever. Use template, address. Purchase price. Do, 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 do. Excuse me. Oh, Andres, why don't I have your email, Andres? Did you tell it to me? Hello? Oh? Yeah. Actually, why don't I just send you an email with my offer? What's yeah, your email yeah. address? Uh, it's Andres Santana, the realtor. At gmail.com. Santana, the realtor. gmail.com i keep forgetting to press save on these people um when i type in their email okay cool offer for property address attach my pof whoops yeah i have people in my crm you might recognize some of those people. It's because I have their um, testimonials on my website. Don't think that I'm weird. I am weird, but <laughs> anyways. Um, okay, so, yep, that's it, good. Send it. Um, SMS, hey, Andres, I just sent you my Offer for, did you get it? Okay, and I will add him to the offer submitted category and I will update my KPIs. That's another written offer made. So now we're at five written offers. Boom, in an hour, let's go. Look at what happens when I'm focused. Okay, I want to check something real quick. Did Natalie send us the um, PS, um, not the PSA, the, um, uh, the most recent mortgage statement? Or not Natalie, Natty is her name. Nope, not yet. Okay, back to calling. Okay, let's pull this one up on Zillow real quick. Um, anything about the age of the roof, AC water heater? Nope, it's probably overpriced given how long it's been on market for. Um, it's got a flat roof with a bunch of water pooling. Yeah, let's call it. Dayland, Dayland. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person. Dayland, if you want to sell real estate, you got to pick up your phone, bro. The call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. Epitone, please record your message. 
Rec <laughs> Bro. <laughs> the voicemail said, at the tone, please record your message. Come on. Do better. Okay, so I'm going to put Dylan in the no response category. I'm going to track my KPIs. That's another agent uh, MLS listing called. And then we are going to hit the little refresh button just to make sure we have fresh data. All right, let's call this one. Andrea, Andrea, Ruffin. All right, let's see. Uh, two, 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 two. Nothing about the age of the roof, AC, water heater. Looks dated. Okay, let's call. Assign to Nathan and ring a ding ding. Boom. Yes, I dab when I sneeze. I'm glad that you guys watch on YouTube. Thank you. Andrea LeFevre, broker of White Realtors. Andrea LeFevre, broker of Whitefoot Realtor Sunshine Properties. All right. Well, no answer. We'll put her in the no response category and we will track our KPIs. So that's going to be another MLS listing called. Cool. And we will move on to the next one Dustin White. Right. Dustin Wright. Cool. Pull it up on Zillow real quick. It says it's got a brand new roof. Awesome. Um, I always like to clarify, like, what is brand new? Because some people say new and, you know, that means like five years old. Um, do, 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 do. This is a nice big house. A little bit dated. Could you use a fresher refresh? No problem. Let me call. Good morning, this is Dustin. Hey, good morning, Dustin. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property on uh, Undallow Road. Okay, how can I help? I'm looking for another uh, fix and hold, fix and flip. Depends on depends on how the, the renovations go. And I wanted to get more information on this property. You think that this is something that, you know, I could do something like that with? Or do you think I'd be competing with conventional financing offers? Um, I mean, a fix and flip wouldn't work. Mm -hmm. There's not enough. Um, there's not enough room. Buying and holding. How long would you want to hold it for? Four or five years? I don't know. Something like that. As long as it cash flows, I'll, I'll hold it for quite a while. I don't want to put an end date on it, but it needs to cash flow. So I need to get it at a decent deal. I mean, right now it's uh, it's definitely on the higher side right now. You know, 38 days on market and mm -hmm. only 210 people looked at it. Why Why is that? What? Where did that price come from? We He wanted to try because a couple other homes sold at a little higher prices a couple months back. So even though we know we're on the higher side, he, just, he wanted to give it a shot. Okay. Do you think it's worth me making an offer on? Like definitely wouldn't start with a four. Probably would be like low to mid threes. 
Um, I don't think that would be something he'd consider. I mean, I, I mean, we can definitely, I could definitely present it. You know, I have no problem doing that. Um, but it's it's highly unlikely. Okay, no worries. Well, we'll just move on to the next one. You got any other fixer uppers? Honestly, right now all my clients are squeezed, so like they're not. There's no room on price. Okay. Um, there, there's, there's one I just lowered on Carter Avenue. What's the address? Five eight two. Five eight two. Um, Southwest Carter Avenue. I had that appraised three months ago, and that appraised at four ten. Okay, let's see here. And we're at three eighty right now. So if you bought that, fix it up. You, there, there's, there's a little money in there. Or if you held it and sold it later, that one probably be your best opportunity at all the listings I have now. Yeah. I, Out of the seven, that that one's probably the hmm. most cost effective. Okay. Um, what's the? Uh, Do you have a? Uh, um, are you in front of your computer right now, looking it up, or would I you am, like me email it to? You? I am. I'm looking it up right now. But I mean, if 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 you don't mind. Do you want to email it to me uh, and just like text me the details, like age of the roof, AC, water heater? Um, that way, I have it all in one. Actually, you know what? Nah. Why am I making more work for you? What What's the age of the roof on this one? The Carter app. Uh, it is two thousand. I want to say four. Let me double check. Yeah. <laughs> Is 2002. Okay. When it was done. How about the AC? AC is just a couple of years old. Like, I don't know the exact date. Less than five? I think around five, either four or five. Okay. How about the water heater? The water heater, I got to double check on. I don't know that off the top of my head. I'll have to look back at the notes. Okay. Right there for a any uh any major issues with this property I should budget for? Uh no, the third bedroom isn't um wasn't natural with the home that was added as well as the addition off the off the kitchen. So that's the only thing that permitted people that have looked at it didn't love. Is that permitted? With that? Yeah. Okay. What do you mean? Um, permit, the, like, is it is it there to stay, or can it be redone? No, like, what was were permits pulled when this was created? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you said is it permanent? I'm like, uh, if you want it to be, you know, <laughs> but yeah, permits were pulled. Yeah, yeah <laughs> nah, bro, no temporary bedrooms. Um, okay, no. okay, cool. Um, and what kind of clothes of escrow are they looking for on this one? What was the question? What kind of clothes of escrow are they looking for on this one? Clothes of escrow. Yeah, I mean, like how long? Around, you know. Do they want to close? Yeah, like what what time frame are they planning on it, closing on? As soon as possible. He said, "Okay." I mean, we're trying to get this home so quick. Okay. Is it uh is it vacant right now? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let me run my numbers. Um, oh, wait a minute. There's a pool on this one, isn't there? Um, yeah, there is. Okay. Yep. When's the last time the pool was resurfaced? I don't think it was resurfaced. Okay. I'll have to check. Okay, gotcha. All right. That's enough information for me. Um, let me get to work on running my numbers on it, and I'll make you an offer in a little bit. Sounds like a plan. Thank you. Thanks, Dustin. Hey, um, can you do me a favor? Can you text me your email address? That way I can email you over my offer. Yeah, absolutely. Are you an agent? or? No, I'm just, just a buyer. Okay. And you know how to write your own offers, I assume? If necessary, I mean, I'd, I'd prefer I'll just uh, I'll just send you my offer template. You know, if the seller wants it, you can write it up for me. 
Well, okay. I was going to say if that was, that was, that's exactly what I was going to suggest. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let me know. And then you can, you can text me where your terms are and I could, if you know, agreed, I can, I can get to write it up for you. Sounds good. Um, you want to fire me your email address? I'll, uh, I'll email you over my offer template once I run my numbers. Yeah. Do you want me to text you or you want me to, um, tell you over the phone right now? Um, here, tell me over the phone. What's your email? All right. Uh, Dustin with a D. Okay. Right. W R I G H T realtor at gmail.com. Got it. Cool. I'll, uh, I'll fire that to you in a little bit. Thank you very much. Let me know if you have any more questions. Sounds good. My pleasure. Take care. All right. Cool. That was a good conversation. Okay. So MLS listing agent conversation. So now how do we respond to that? So the first one that we originally called on, it was not realistic. So we passed on it. Um, and then we ended up calling, then he ended up having something else that was realistic. Um, or not, not really necessarily realistic, but more better than the one that we're anyways. Um, abandoned price way too high update. Okay, so we're going to abandon the 280 property. Abandon. Okay, and we want to see 582 Southwest Carter. 582. Yep, we don't have it. So we're going to add it. Um, Dwight. No, what was his name again? Dustin Wright. Property address. And we're going to put it into underwriting since we already have all the information. We're going to populate the information. Okay, so roof 2002, AC, AC, five ish, uh, water heater. Question mark. Pool needs resurfacing. Okay, occupancy vacant. Um, close of escrow ASAP. Wants to close ASAP. Um, yeah, that's good enough. Okay, cool. Update. And we will let my underwriter know that it is ready. Okay, and Alvin says that another one is ready for us, which is cool. I love it when another one is ready. Make our offer on this one. So let's see here. Uh, oh, it says four abandoned, no good comp, several matching houses, but they're not remodeled. Same condition as the subject. Okay. Um, I'm going to let her know. Hey, Laura. We are going to pass on this one. There are not many good comps thank you and please let me know if you have anything else okay hey laura are you going to pass on this one there are not many good comps thank you and please let me know if you have anything else and I'm going to add her to the follow-up campaign. Basic agent follow-up. Yep. 
cool. Um, that'll be another agent added. And we abandoned that one, so can't um, can't consider that an offer submitted because we abandoned. Okay, on to the next call. Let me clear my desk off. How many offers am I at so far? I'm at, oh, dude, I'm only at five offers. What's going on? What's up? Just advance yourself says, hello, everyone. What's up? How you doing, bro? Um, okay, so. Um, Jordan Johnson says, how many offers do you aim for a day? Minimum of five a day. But today I'm like, I want to make 15. And I'm only at five so far. So um, let's keep calling. Okay, so one or more photos has been virtually staged. Okay, whatever. Uh, anything about the age of the roof, AC, water heater? Nope, nothing that I'm seeing. Bro, there's so many virtually staged images to this house. Like, it's so misleading. Yeah, this definitely qualifies. We'll do it. Thank you for calling Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Florida Realty. Okay, going to double dial. Thank you for calling Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Florida Realty, Winter Park Office. No one is available to take your call at the moment. Okay, so no answer. That means I'm going to put them in the no response category, and it's going to automatically send them a text, track my KPIs. So I'm at 11 MLS listings called, and I'll pull this up for you guys. I'm at 11 MLS listings called, five agent conversations, two agents added, zero verbal offers, five written offers, four agent follow-up SMS, um, nine wholesaler follow-ups. So that's what I'm at so far. Um, okay, give me one second. Freeze. Good.
Now, have you ever looked at a walnut up close? So the walnut really resembles a brain, right? So here's my belief. And if you look at them really, really close, you'll see that there's veins inside of the walnut and that I would assume water flows through the veins. And it just incredibly resembles the brain. So I believe that these are like a form of brain food, right? So if you want healthy food, you know, eat this. And I don't think animals are that far off from humans. Or sorry, I don't think plants are really that different from humans. Like we're all alive and you can clearly see that this walnut was alive, you know, that this walnut was pushing water to all the different extremities of it, to all the different parts of it with the veins in the walnut. So it's just really fascinating. But mm -hmm. Give me one second. I'm going to eat three almonds, three walnuts, and then I'm going to get back to work. And chug some caffeine. All right, let's go. Let's get it. Next one we're calling is Jenny in Claremont, Florida. Metal roof. Okay. Hi, this is Corey with Weimar Group Realty. How can I help you? Oh, hey, Corey. Sorry, you kind of caught me by surprise. I was expecting Jenny to pick up. Jenny, Jenny's actually not available right now, but I'm one of her partners. How can I help you? Okay. Um, I'm calling about her listing on 12th Street. I yeah. wanted to confirm some details on it. Um, it's really hyped up in the description, but I'm still unclear as to like the age of the big ticket items. Like I'm looking for the age of the roof, AC, water heater. Um, if there's any major issues with the property, do you have that on hand? Um, it's not something that I have. Unfortunately, this is more just a general front desk, but um, do you have the MLS description uh, up in front of you? Yeah, it's just hyped up, but there's no ages. It's just like, yeah, no. Uh, feel great list, knowing that listing you have a agent metal roof. Two. Yeah, no, listing agent number two is actually going to be the point person. I'm actually pulling it up real fast. Daniel, if I can. Yes, it's going to be Daniel Pryor. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. He's gonna. He's gonna. He's actually going to be the one running the listing. Jenny's just our team leader. But if you reach out to Daniel, he'll be able to actually talk to you about this with this. Awesome. Thank you. Take you it. got it. Have He's a great well. day. Bye. Okay, so let me reach out to Daniel instead.
Um, Jordan says, Julio or lead connector? I use lead connector. Lead connector all the way. Um, Just advance yourself says, how long have you been doing MLS offers? Over a year now. Hello, this is Daniel Pryor. Okay, so I'm going to double dial. This is a great question. I'll answer it in a second. Daniel's not answering, so I will put him in the no response category. That will automatically send him a text, and I will update my KPIs. Cool. Okay, so Matt says, how do you zero in on these distressed properties on Zillow? Are you researching your market area the day prior and then calling? So what I actually do is I use this software called Privy. So let me pull it up. I use Privy and I actually, I pay my virtual assistant to do this for me. So he'll go on Privy, he'll click on this fix and flip button right here. And then he's gonna click on this active, find active similar deals. And we he just chooses, so like we tell him like we want any major markets in Florida. We don't want any like inland stuff like in these areas where there's nothing happening. We only want major markets. So we tell them like, hey, you know, go to the major markets in Florida. Um, he'll circle them. Right. Then he'll like go to the grid. Well, sorry, he actually he he adds a filter as well. Um, so he says he needs to have at least 30 days on market run search. Yeah. And then he'll just go to the grid and, you know, he'll look for anything that looks visually distressed. So like this right here can already tell. Yeah, that would be something that we would offer on. Right. And just like that, he like finds stuff. It's so easy. Um, here's one that I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is something that we would offer on. Right. Pink bathroom. And as you can see, he puts a little star on it whenever he's added it. So yeah, if you want that software, like I actually have a 30% off discount code for you. Um, so use use the promo code Nathan Harris and you'll get a discount. Ooh, Matt says, okay, cool. I ha I've had Privy. I know how to use it. If you don't mind me asking, how much should a VA cost to de delegate that part of the job? $3.50 an hour is what I pay mine. Yeah. Okay, cool. So now that we went over that, um, and dude, if you're getting privy, if you get privy again, use my promo code, Nathan Harris, you'll save 30%. It's like pretty damn good deal. It's kind of hard to deny. Um, okay, so this one here, I'm pulling it up on Zillow, and I'm finding that it's pending, apparently. Wait a minute. Why did it say pending in the metadata, but not, not, maybe it's not. Um, but there's no photos of the inside, so I'm a little bit dissatisfied. Uh, we're going to skip it. I don't want to, I don't want to call it. I don't want to waste my time. Like, Hey, can you please send me photos? Oh, I don't have photos. I'll have to go get photos. Oh, okay. Let me know when you get photos. Like it's such a waste of time. Just post the photos. Um, Next one. On to the next. 
Ooh, Reggie says, I got another pocket sent to me this morning. Pocket listing. Um, congratulations, bro. I love that, dude. Can I help you with it? Let me know if you need free underwriting or anything, bro. Underwriting, EMD funding, contract support, whatever you need, bro. I got you. Okay. This one here. Anything about the age of the roof, AC, water heater? Nope. Um, dated. Okay, cool. Let's call. Heather. Heather. Sir, we're going to double dial. Okay, no answer. We are going to send her an automated text message. Move her to the no response category. Check her KPIs. Cool. Just give me one second. I want to um, release some free underwritings. Okay, boom. There we go. And track my KPIs for it. All right, MLS offers, any more ready to go? Let me refresh. No more, ready to go. We must keep calling. Deal card, boom. Zillow, let's see, has 23 photos, um, under contract, accepting backups, roof, HVAC, new in 2016. That's not, oh my God. The way that they phrase things, roof, HVAC, new in 2016. No shit, it was new in 2016, but that's not new still. Um, electrical panel is newer. Like, bro, come on. Give me, give me years. Um... Okay, I just want to take a look at the photos real quick. Cool. Awesome. All right. Whoops. Um, back. Back. Assigned to me. Call it. And the name. Man. Dan. Hey, Dan, this is Nathan. I'm calling about that listing that you have on Tangelo uh, Ave. Yes, we've got it under contract. Okay. Is that past the inspection period yet? Uh, inspections are going to be today. Did, did it just start or is that like it's ending today? Uh, they're doing their inspections today. Okay. Um, all right. Well, I'm, I'm interested in it. I wanted to get some clarification. Um, so just to make sure roof is 2016 HVAC 2016. Um, didn't see anything about the water heater. And then when you say electrical panel is newer, um, not really sure what newer means. Uh, do you have a date for I don't have a date? Um, not offhand. Uh, you might check the public records on, uh, for Pasco County. Um, but I, I don't have that on hand. Okay. But it is a newer box. It's not it's not original. Okay, cool. Um, and is this like vacant, owner occupied, tenant occupied? It's uh, uh vacant. Okay, cool, great. Um, what else? I think that's all I needed from you. Any major issues with it that I should budget for? 
Uh, none that I'm aware of. Um, we just had, we, we did do a WDO on it, a wood destroying organism, and subterraneans were were found and treated. So mm-hmm. we've got a warranty for that. Pro, the big words that you use there. Uh, WDO, wood destroying organisms, and then the subterraneans. Um, so you check for termites and there's no termites? We checked for termites, found some evidence of termites, and it was treated. Okay, gotcha. Sorry, um, pardon my uh, my lack of understanding on that one. Just no, wanted to make sure I, I understood that correctly. No, no problem at all. Okay. Um, all right, and whereabouts was that uh, termites found and remediated? Uh, it was in the, my understanding was in the uh, AC closet, which is in the living room. Okay. And is that like just the bugs are dead or is there any damage left behind? Um, bugs are dead. Okay. Any uh, any kind of structural stuff going on near that AC closet? I would assume no, but I just want to double check. We um, wouldn't even know that there were subterranean, so I'm, I'm going to say no. Okay. Okay, cool. Awesome. Um, and what's your email address? I'll, I'll email you over my offer. Sure. It's djoyce30 at gmail. Zero at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Awesome. So I'll, uh, I'll put together my numbers on this. I'll fire you over an email with it and send you a text as well. Let you know that I sent it. When does, when does the inspection period on this one end? I just want to know when like I should follow up or, or kind of know what's going on um not till next tuesday not till next tuesday okay cool do you think that this yeah. buyer is like solid or do you think they're like kind of tire kicking no if they put an offer in and got their escrow in there and ordering their inspections they're not tired. okay good good well i hope it goes through but if it doesn't then i'll be here with a backup offer Sounds good. I appreciate Appreciate it. Appreciate you too. You have a wonderful day, Jen. You too. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Matt says, do you have your privy discount link or just use Nathan Harris discount code at the purchase window? Um, So you can like click my link, but use the promo code to get the discount. Because even if you click my link, you still have to put the promo code in to get the discount. So put the promo code Nathan Harrison at the checkout for Privy and you'll get that 30% off discount. It's like so freaking good. Such a good deal. Um, okay, cool. Okay. Now I am going to put this in underwriting update. I'm going to tag Alvin at Alvin. Boom. Refresh. Okay, that's going to be another uh, MLS listing called another agent conversation. Um. RMS says, does Privy provide the agent's phone number? In most locations, they provide the phone number. Sometimes it'll be like the listing office number. Sometimes it'll be their cell number. It's kind of like different depending on which location you're in. Um, But yeah, they will provide the agent's phone number more often than not. Okay, next one. Okay, so this one, mid-century modern, yada, yada, yada. Uh, Nothing on the age of the roof, AC or water heater. Okay, looks pretty, looks like the roof is pretty old. Um, I'm going to assume that nothing was done to it.
This is Sandy Bozeman with Remax Metro. Okay, we'll double dial. This is Sandy Bozeman with Remax Metro. You've reached my voicemail. Please. Okay, no answer. So we will put her in the no response category and we will track that as another MLS listing called and we will move on to the next one. Okay, so just taking a look at this real quick. Price to sell, great income property, permanent residence, um, impact windows, including sliders, screened entry, roof replaced in 2015. Um, okay, nothing about the AC. That's okay. We'll, uh, we'll call and we'll confirm that information. So I'm going to assign it to myself. I'm going to make the call. Hey, Melanie. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about uh, Cassez Avenue, uh, 4800 Cassez. I was expecting Brian to pick up. Oh, no, he's out on listing appointments. Is there um, maybe a message I can get to him or see if I can answer any questions you have? Sure, yeah. So I'm wondering as to the age of the AC water heater, if there's any major issues that I should budget for on the property as well major issues due to the age of the water heater and the ac no just in general like if if there's like in sinkholes general. foundation issues mold termite damage okay um i'm not sure right off the top of my head but i can ask and i can either have him or our listing coordinator give you a call back with those sure yeah that'd be great Okay, you said it was Nathan. What's a good callback number? Um, well, if you guys could text me back, that'd be a better because I probably won't answer if it's just random digits. Um, my phone number is okay. 813-437-1111. Right. Uh -huh. okay. All right, I will have either Brian or the listing coordinator give you a text with the um, answer. If you don't mind, could you have uh, Brian reach out to me? I just like to work directly with the listing agent because otherwise it causes too much friction and I'll just move on to the next one. Okay, yeah, I can. Okay. Ask Thank you. you. Take care. All right, okay. you're welcome. Yep. Okay. So we're going to put that as one MLS listing called. We're not going to count that as a conversation because that didn't quite count. Um, and we're going to put it into the no response category because, I mean, technically it's no response. Now, uh, these ones, I've been, like, purposely dodging those ones for now because, like, I don't know, I just want them to sit a little bit longer. Um, okay, so let's add some more unassigned leads. So I'm going to assign some of these to me. Update. Update. Okay, now we're gonna switch it back to me. Okay, now we're at 16, good. 
Um, but Alvin said that we have one completed, underwriting complete. Okay, great. Let's see. Um, yep, we can make an offer on this one. <clears throat> okay, so Dwight the Realtor. I'm sorry, Dustin Wright. I don't know why I keep thinking that his name is Dwight. Offer template. Boom. Use template. Address. I honestly don't care what they listed it for. Like, there's no point in even looking at their listing price because it's literally irrelevant. It's like, this is what I can pay for it. I don't care. Um, don't let their listing price influence your offer price. Your offer price is your offer price. And be confident in your offer price. And if you're not confident in your offer price, get free underwriting from us and we will let you get free underwriting and you will be confident in your offer price. And then just don't give a shit what they ask for the property because it's not about what they're asking. Um, it's about what they it's worth. Offer for property address. So like, for example, this one, right? Purchase price 227. Let me guess. It's going to be way higher than 227. Um, yeah, look at this. See this property? They're asking four hundred thousand for it, three eighty. Um, so they're asking three eighty for this. Oh wait, sorry. Let me share the screen. They're asking three hundred eighty thousand dollars for this property, and my offer is two hundred twenty-seven thousand dollars, and I have data to justify why my offer is such. Right? Like if you look at this, I literally have comps right here. I will, I will even zoom in and let you guys like really take a look at it. Look, okay, see, they're asking 380, right? But another thing is you can tell, you know, 33 days on market is kind of kind of low. Um, sorry, here, I got to share screen. So 33 days on market, 1600 views, 112 saves. Eh, that's, it's not like that hot. If it was a hot deal, it would have uh, been higher. Fuck, why is it not sharing screen? There we go. Okay, yeah. So one thing is check these. This tells you like how interested the public is. Next thing is look at this. They're asking 380 for it. You know what my offer is? My offer is I need it below 237. That's what I can wholesale it for, 237. So I'm going to offer 227. And really, I don't care. I don't care at all what their asking price is. It's literally what my offer is. And I have data to justify my offer. Like I literally have an entire breakdown of the math. I have a loom video explaining why it was done in such a way. And we can even watch this loom video if you want. Like my underwriter makes me loom videos of everything. So. All right. So I copied the uh, builder. See, he even like looks at it on the neighbor. neighbor. All right, so it looks like uh, got the same value. So property here has uh, is higher. There's like a partition here. Yeah, I think this one. This one is a small creek, small canal, and properties across are higher. Like this one's over 440. Yeah, so he's like super diligent, right? So I don't give a shit if um if this agent gets mad. I don't give a shit because I know I'm right, right? I know I have data to justify my decision. Okay. Anyways. So now we will attach my proof of funds. POF. Just because they're an agent doesn't mean that they, you know, are justified in asking what they're asking. And oftentimes it's, it's the sellers that are just, you know, asking a ridiculous amount. Um, so I'm going to say, hey, Dustin, I just sent you my offer for five eight two West Carter Ave did you get it question mark okay 
and then I will move him to the offer submitted category and I will track my KPIs. That's another written offer made. Cool. Um, can you send that underwriting video to me? LOL, just saying. Um, so guys, whenever you send us deals for free underwriting, we actually give you a Loom video and everything. So like we give you a full breakdown, we give you a Loom video, we give you all the comps, everything. So um, if you want that, you know, you gotta be in Florida and you gotta, yeah, be in Florida and then just, you know, if, if you get it under contract, send it to us, right? That's that's what we ask. Like, if we're going to go out of our way to do free underwriting for you, just send it to us once you get it under contract. Um, let us dispo it for you. And, yeah, we'll give you free underwriting. We'll give you a full breakdown, Loom video comps, um, math, everything. Um, and then just advance yourselves. I is asking a question about KPIs. Um, I KPI, oh, key performance indicator. Yeah, that's what KPI means. KPI means key performance indicator. It's like, what are you doing and how is that resulting in what you want? And how does that help you get what you want? So like how many calls did I make? How many offers got accepted? Yada, 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 those things. Okay, so I'm just taking a look at the next one. Uh, do we have any information? There's absolutely no listing description. Um, looks like a dated property. Let me give them a call. Hey, is this Lionel? Yeah, this is hey, Nathan. Lionel. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that listing that you have on Old Boynton Road. It is under contract now. Oh, great. Okay. Um, are you past the inspection period on that yet? No, not yet. Not yet. Okay. You think I should submit a backup offer or do you think it's going to go through? Uh, well, you can still send your backup if you want. Okay, sure. Um, you got the age of the roof, AC, water heater, all of that info? Uh, well, no, I don't have uh, any information about that. There's no seller's disclosure? Uh, I don't have the seller's disclosure. So um, uh, I will ask for that, but I don't have that yet. Okay. What's, what's the story with this property? What is this? What's what's the story with question. this one? I don't understand your question. Yeah, so like why why is it being sold? Like how did it get to this condition? You got any more details on it? Yeah, well uh, what I can say about it, um I know there is a, a for the little family home, the tile need to be redone. Okay. And also uh, I deliver their appliances like the fridge. It is not new. And also uh, for washer and dryer, there's a uh, I think there's a washer, but there's no dryer. Okay. And uh, that's what I know. Well, for the roof, it is not leaking, but I don't know the age. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, let me. I'm just gonna assume the worst on it, um, and I'll pop you an offer. All right, you're gonna buy for yourself. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna fix and flip it, or I'm gonna fix and hold. I don't know yet. Oh, okay. What what gonna be your offer? Oh, I don't know yet. I gotta run my numbers. Wanted to get some more information, but since there's a lack of information, I'm just gonna assume the worst on it. Oh, you're an investor. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you, oh, Do you have anything else that you think would be good for me? Um, no, basically, no, I don't have anything now. Okay. Uh, well, I have a big uh, listing, but uh, I don't think so that will be good for an investor. Yeah. But it is a use, but it's at Bottom Beach. 
Well, uh, if it's no good for an investor, uh, then. Yeah, no, it is uh, almost 5,000 square footage, so it is not going to be good for you. Okay, no worries. Well, let me get, let me get to work on my numbers on this one. I'll pop you a backup offer. Um, you mentioned it's currently under contract. When does the inspection period end? I just want to have an idea of, you know, what I'm going to know by. Uh, next week. Yeah, next week. But uh, if you think that there's something like a lower than $400,000, I don't think so we need to waste your time because uh, we have an offer for $415,000 on it. Well, I hope, I hope that offer question. goes through because, you know, looking at Zillow, it's been 29 days. It's only got 923 views and 24 saves. So it doesn't seem like people are and i mean the data is saying that it's not that hot so hopefully that offer goes through i'll make a backup offer but it's definitely going to yeah, be below four hundred thousand. yeah basically we, we i have uh, you know i have uh, several offers on it so i i even got uh, you know cash offer on it but it is on too low they want to just reject it okay Okay. Even well, though you see we have three nights on the market, but we have a lot of lot of traffic in this province. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Awesome. Sounds good. Okay. Lionel, I'll give you a call. Actually, hold on. Sorry, before you go. Um, what's your email? I'll email you my offer. It is Lionel Friend. 65 at Yahoo.com. Um, so your first name and then F R A N 65 at yahoo.com yes okay cool i'll send you i'll send you my offer over email and then i'll send you a text afterwards letting you know i sent it all right all right thanks right. take care right, thank you cool so and a friend yahoo.com want to make sure i actually saved his email correctly arma says i don't get it how these how they are agents and have no information on property. I know, right? That was like the least helpful call possible. Um, so no info. I'm going to send it to underwriting. Yeah, that was not a very helpful call. Track my KPIs. That's an MLS listing called agent conversation. Um, Alex says, bro, can you explain how you tell on Zillow based on how many views and how many saves, um, how you know when there are not much traction on it thank you so pretty much on zillow like it'll say like how many people viewed it how many people saved it um and the days on market so if it's a higher days on market if it's like 30 days on market and it has really low views and really low saves then you can kind of just like put two and two together like okay somebody looked at this but they didn't care for it so they didn't save it or like oh not many people are looking for this because if, if they don't look at it at all it's obviously overpriced um, you know, if they look at it, but don't save it, there was something, there was a reason why, like they looked at it and they're like, nah, never mind, not for me. So you can kind of just like fill in the gaps, like, okay, so like it's been on market for a really long time. There's low amount of views, low amount of saves. People aren't really interested in this. If there's a high amount of views and a low amount of saves, that means that it's clickbait, right? Like lots of people are clicking on it, but then realizing, oh, never mind. Um, so yeah, just you can kind of deduce from that um matt says in most states you have to be an agent to submit written offers are you licensed i don't know i don't believe that's true i don't believe that's true at all i just submit my offers like i don't think that's true T tell me fine fact check that bro fact check that i don't think that's true who'd you hear that from who'd you hear that from and can you verify the source in which you heard that from because I mean, there's so many people out there that are submitting offers, on-market offers. Many, many wholesaler friends submit on-market offers. Oh, no. Matt says, I've been through realtor school, brother. Okay. Um, Matt, I'm sorry, bro, but um, 
realtors. <laughs> I'm I'm really sorry, Matt, because I'm going to rip on realtor school for a moment. But it it takes it takes more training to trim nails than it does to become a realtor. So I'm like I I always take things that a real that realtors say with a grain of salt. Um, I personally don't believe that um, in most states you have to be an agent to submit written offers. Um, I I think you can just submit them either way. Um, yeah. Okay, so you're in the Astro group, so you're 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 good. You're surrounded by a lot of awesome people. Yeah, there's a lot of people in the Astro group that do on market offers. Um, so I just never ne I've never seen that be an issue submitting written offers um, to the listing agent. Not at all. I'm I could be wrong, bro, but I've never seen it. Never seen it, dude. In Missouri, they're giving me hell for it. I would ask you how many, who's they and how many people? Was it one person? Was it two people? Can you give me like a ratio, like out of how many offers, how many of them gave you hell for it? What was, what was the exact like justification for them giving you hell for it? Like, can we, can we get pretty, pretty much like I, I would question that? Like, it'd be like, who gave you hell? How many people gave you hell? And how many people in total, how many offers did you submit? How many of those people like bitched and complained about it? Because like, you're always going to have some agents that are like, I'm all, I'm all like, they get their license. A lot of these agents, they get their license and they're like, I'm all high and mighty. I know everything. I'm a realtor. And it's like, congratulations. Like, you know, it takes more training to trim nails, um, to professionally trim nails. It takes more training to, it takes like, I think like a hundred times more training or something like that to trim hair, uh, to cut hair. So like, I, I mean, I take what agents say with a grain of salt, right? The, the agents are good. You know, I, I like agents. Um, I make money with agents, but also like, I really question some of the stuff they say. I don't believe them a lot because a lot of the time they just don't know. They think they know, but they don't know. Um, okay. So this one here, Anything about the, let's see, this home is equipped with central AC, full appliances, laundry room, and detached storage. Um, cool. All right. Let me call them. Good morning, Mark. Good to have you. Hi, you've reached Steven. I can't take your okay, I'm gonna double dial him. Hi, you've reached Steven. I can't take your call. Okay, no answer. So I will send him a text. And I will track my KPIs. Be another MLS listing called. Cool. Ooh, uh, give me one second. All right, I'm back. So do I order a burrito bowl? I think I do. I think I'm going to get a burrito bowl or do I want to get 
something else. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get a burrito bowl. It's a buy one, get one free. So we're gonna go black beans, Mexican rice, pineapple salsa, cheese, lettuce, pickled tomatoes, pickled jalapenos, tomatoes, corn, red onions, green pepper, cilantro, crushed chips, pickled onions. We're gonna put some chipotle barbecue on it, as well as signature hot sauce. Um, actually, no, we're gonna put jalapeno eclipse. Um, then we are going to say, please make it super duper extra spicy and please put an unhealthy amount of sauce and a ridiculous amount of chips, period. I'm trusting you, comma. Also, I'm that guy, that one weird guy that like really likes it spicy. So thank you, period. Okay, add to order. View cart, go to checkout, skip, standard 10 to 20 minutes. Um, yep. Do, 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 do. One second while well, I order my burrito bowl. Verdon says, order me one too. Um, maybe if you were on YouTube, but you're on Facebook, so um, it impedes my ability for YouTube to get monetized when you're on Facebook. And if I don't get YouTube monetized, I don't have enough money to buy you burrito bowls. Okay, so it says, um, should arrive at 11.25 a.m. Um, yeah, cool. Cool. Awesome. Burrito bowl is on its way. Let's go. Okay, cool. Um, let's keep calling. Hold on. Wait a minute. Before I keep calling, I, uh, I just want to assign more leads to myself real quick because I'm going to be calling all day long and I don't want to run out of leads. Like I need to hit my 15 offers. So I'm going to grab some more leads real quick. I go from YouTube to Facebook. Didn't know you'd be there after the morning call. Didn't even think about it. LOL. Yeah, guys, if you're on Facebook, please come over to YouTube. Um, Cause I'm trying really hard to get YouTube monetized and I need to get my watch hours up. And oh my goodness, I like I thought I was gonna get monetized when I hit the three thousand watch hours, but they're like, "Congratulations, you can now have people donate you money." I'm like, "Oh, come on, that's not monetized. I want ad revenue. I want ad revenue for my social media because it's like it's a fucking money hole. I spend so much money on social media." So yeah, if you guys watch on YouTube, it helps get those watch hours up, which then helps me get monetized. So I, I'd really, really appreciate that. Also, like when you guys like and comment, like that helps as well. That helps boost the algorithm, helps, helps me get closer to getting it monetized. Switch it back to Nathan. Cool. Now we're at 21. Okay. Now we can really bang out some more leads. Okay. So this one here, investor only, three bedroom, two bath. Okay. No, um, no details really on it but there's some photos of the inside. Cool. Let's call Rashamim. Rashamim is his name. Rashamim. Awesome. Thank you for coming over to you. Hello. 
Hey, Rishabim. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that listing that you have on 77th. Yes, sir. Hey, so I was just about to run my numbers on it and submit you an offer, but I needed a little bit more information before I do so. Do you have the age of the roof? Uh, roof. Air conditioned water heater, five years old. Okay. Okay. Um, when was the last time the pool was resurfaced? I don't know. I don't know. In the pool, last time I was over there, the pool is green little bit. You know, I don't know when the last time they do that. I don't have even idea. Okay. And do you know when the last time the pool equipment was replaced? No, no. Okay. Is it uh, is it currently occupied or vacant? Yeah, the tenant occupied thirty one hundred dollar month to month. Thirty thirty one hundred month to month. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, what kind of tenants are they like? Are they good tenants? Yeah, depending on the time. Okay, good. Good. Um, so is this just like a tired landlord? That's why they're selling it? Yeah, you need to move on, you know? Okay. Okay. I, you need to move on. You're doing something else. You know, you're building and uh, you need some more money to build. Okay. You know, try to sell all the small property. Oh, he's doing a nice big, uh, like, what's he building? Is he building a multifamily or? Yeah, he built a uh, building multifamily. He bought a uh, land in uh, Pampano Beach. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah. Send him my congratulations. That's, yeah. that's you know, a pretty big, pretty big step. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I try to sell all the single family house that you have, you know. Okay. Do you, does that mean that he has multiple of them that I could potentially buy? Like maybe I could put them together and get a package deal? Uh, yes, yes. Send me your email. I'm going to send you all that. But you can see it on my listing, you know. Here, I'm going to send you my email. And Okay, I'm going to send you all the address. Okay. I'm going to send, yeah, here we go. All of them tenants occupied, and I can tell you how much money they're making it. Please, yeah, please send send all the details. That way I don't have to call you back and be like, hey. Send me your email, and I'm going to go from there. I just sent it to you. Okay. Thanks, Rashim. All right. Okay. You're okay, cool. So um, we're going to send this one to underwriting. Cool. And we're going to update our KPIs. That's another MLS listing called another agent conversation. Um, we're also going to add this agent to the basic follow up because that's a really good one. Agent basic follow up, add. Cool. Okay, I just said, please let me know when you send the properties. I'm very interested. Um, we have two of them in underwriting complete. We have Lionel in underwriting complete. It says for abandon. Okay, so I'm going to respectfully tell Lionel that we're going to pass on it. Um, well, there's no text history, so whatever. If there's no text history, I'll just skip it. I'll just abandon. Um, goodbye, Lionel. Okay, next one we have is Dan Joyce. Okay, so I'm going to... Oh, wait a minute. Did he tell me his email? 
email at gmail. Did. Not till next Hey, cool. Well, I'll let you know. Dot com. No. Mm-hmm. Damage left behind. Um, bugs are dead. Okay. Any uh, any kind of structural stuff going on near that AC closet? I would assume no, but I just want to double check. We um wouldn't even know that there were subterranean, so I'm gonna say no. Okay. Okay, cool. Awesome. Um, and what's your email address? I'll, I'll email you over my offer. Sure. It's djoyce three zero at gmail. At gmail. Mm-hmm. Dot com. Okay, cool. Awesome. So I'll uh I'll Okay. I gotta remember to press the save button. Because when I don't press that save button, it doesn't save it. But good thing we have call recordings. Okay. So we are going to use our offer template. Pop the address in, purchase price, 132 or lower. So we're going to go 122, comma, 000, 2K EMD. <coughs> Excuse me. Attach my proof of funds, POF. Cool. Um, send. Then I'm going to send him a text. Hey, Dan, I just sent you my offer for property address. Did you receive it? Okay, that's another written offer made. Um, Verdon Hill says, do you use Jamil's proof of fund? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, Okay, Dan will go into offer submitted. Let me hit that refresh button. Make sure we have nice, clean, fresh data. Ooh, um, my... Burrito bowls are five minutes away, apparently. Um, Side door, homie. Side door. Ooh, I'm excited. And y'all get to watch me eat a burrito bowl live. What a privilege. (laughs) Um, Okay, stop being silly, Nathan. No, be silly. Be yourself. Um. Okay, so next one we have is Diana. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, let me uh, pull this one up on Zillow real quick. So it's currently pending. Um, roof 2016, um, but needs to be replaced. Okay, good to know. Some good info here. Let me uh, call and see if we should submit a backup offer on it. Hey, Diana. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about this listing that you have on Corkwood Terrence. Yeah, it went to contract. I saw that and I'm like, shucks, uh, that would have made a great flip. But I wanted to see if I should submit a backup offer. Uh, yeah, give it a few days. Um, I have eight offers on the table. Nice. So we, we, we've certainly got options here. Okay. Well, congratulations. Um, yeah. It, yeah. I mean, it's it's a good it's a good flip. It's a nice big house. Um, 
Okay. When when do you want me to call back and check to see if that's that one's going through? Uh, well, we have four sixty five on the table, so you know we're not looking to go any lower than that. Um, so I'll just be honest with you on that. So you know, if if your numbers don't come up to that, then it's probably you know would be a waste of time. Okay. Is that like a, a flipper or is that? A traditional buyer. Yeah, the, the roof is leaking. This is cash is only. It's just cash only. It's, it's, it's all the offers are investors. Okay. All right. Well, why don't I run my numbers and why don't I I see what I come up to and send you something? Wh- what's your email address? I can fire it over to you today. Diana at dianafairbankshomes.com. Diana at Diana Fairbanks Homes H O M E S. Yep. Dot com. Okay, great. I'll uh, I'll get that over to you shortly. Thanks, Diana. All right. No worries. You're welcome. Take care. Mm-hmm. Bye bye. Okay. Cool. So Diana at dianafairbankshomes.com. And I think my burrito bowl is almost here. Activity. Zero minutes away. Side door. Side door. Okay, cool. So we will let my underwriter know that this one is in underwriting. Uh, Alex says, bro, make you some honey and lemon tea. You'll be good. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit. My, I'm feeling a little bit congested. I, I like the other the other night I felt like shit. But then I'm like, I control my body. I control the way I feel. So I told my body, I'm like, stop feeling like shit. And it stopped feeling like shit. Well, it was a little bit more complicated than that. I like imagined myself feeling really good for a while. Okay, give me one second. I'm going to go grab my burrito bowls. I always get two burrito bowls because it's a two for one special. So I get like more than enough food. (sighs) Guys, bear with me for one second while I eat my burrito bowl. You can either leave and come back, or you can be patient, whatever you'd like.
So, ha, it's spicy. I asked for it really, really spicy. Now, I'm gonna keep calling till I make my uh, my my 15 offers. That's my goal. What are we at currently? We're currently at seven offers, so we're halfway. So in theory, give me another two and a half hours, and I'll be done. But that means I have to eat. I have to eat partway through this. Either I end the live stream and I go eat off the live, or I eat on the live. And some of y'all are like, dude, I don't want to see this guy eating. I came here for MLS offers. And some of y'all are going to dip when I'm eating, but I don't give a crap. I'll, uh, I'm going to just eat real quick, and then I'm going to continue with my offers. So. Yeah, my desk is super dope. I love it. Um, my desk is hydraulic. It also is a glass top where I can use dry erase. Also has USBs, um, wireless charger, like all that stuff. I spent like $500 on it. I got a good deal on it though. These desks retail, they go like 800 You know, there's a lot of people that can't stand the pressure of being on a live stream. And there's a trick to it. Pretty much the trick is don't give a shit right be yourself be yourself at the end of the day i am me and i'm not going to hold up a persona just for people like me of course i want to be likable but i'm going to change aspects of my character when i want to change them not because other people not because i think other people will want me to be a certain way So, like, I think the reason why most people are scared of getting on a live is because they're scared they might make a fool of themselves. But, I mean, you are you, right? So be yourself, and that'll attract your audience. I be myself, 
and that attracts my audience. I like being funny. I like telling jokes. I like ripping on people some, sometimes. You know, here I am sick, blowing my nose on a live stream. People might be like, oh, that's disrespectful. I don't give a shit. I'm feeling sick. I'm going to show up either way. Um, so, yeah. Now, almost done my burrito bowl. I'm trying to be as quick as possible. So, pardon my, um, pardon the delay. One second.
Okay. My tummy is full. Let me unlock my camera. My tummy is full, and I got some hydration. Just got to blow my nose again, and then I'm back to work. Okay, let's get it. All right, did we call Diana yet? Yeah, we did. Um, so we called Diana, we sent her to underwriting. I always like hit the update button more than I need to, just to play it safe. Hit that refresh button. Cool, that was spicy, <sighs> spicy. Could you guys like actually hear me eat? Like, could you hear like every bite and chew? If you could, oh crap. Yeah, you probably totally heard like even my saliva moving in my mouth. Jeez. Sorry about that. I'm sorry, but I'm also not sorry because I know I'm a human and I have to eat. Some of you guys think that I'm a robot. Some of you guys are like, it's Nathan. He's an AI. I mean, sometimes when you text me, like my AI bots take over. But more often than not, it's actually me. Um, okay, so there's four bedroom split, both high ceilings, yada, yada. Freshly painted interior, brand new HVAC, heat pump. Okay, not too descriptive, but better than nothing. Let me uh, give him a call. Yeah, you guys literally hear a lot of it. Troy Marandino. Okay, we'll double dial. Hear what sounded like, but no. Okay, no answer. We're gonna send him. him. And update our KPIs. So that's another MLS listing called. We've called a totally uh, a total of 20 MLS listings. We've had eight agent conversations, three agents added, um, zero verbal offers, seven written offers. We've had four agent follow-up SMSs and 10 wholesaler follow-up SMS. Okay, let's keep calling. Okay, so this one here. Uh, it's got red carpet. Immediately when you see a property with red carpet, know that it's worth fixing up, uh, renovating. Oh, I love it when they do this. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Classic tile roof.
Okay. So there's not really any information about the roof AC water heater. Um, so I'm going to give them a call. Do, 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 do. Hello? Hey, Tim. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that. Oh, he didn't hang up on me. I don't know. Hey, Timothy. Can I help you? Yes, please. Uh, my name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property that you listed on Village Lane. Okay. I was about to submit an offer on it, but I realized I didn't have enough information to um, accurately determine the price that I can buy it at. Do you have the age of the roof, AC, water heater, all of that stuff? Um, yeah. W where did you see the listing? I came across it on Zillow. Okay. Are, are you an agent? No, I'm just buying it for myself. I'm going to fix and flip it or okay. fix and hold. I don't know for sure yet. All right. Well, it's not really a fix and flip. Uh, there's not enough. I don't think there's enough margin there for that. Okay. Um, but if you want some sweat equity, there's that's definitely a good good property for that. So like, over, um, you know, for it. cosmetics. Pardon? Are, are you suggesting like overpay? When you say sweat equity, what do you what overpay. do you mean by sweat equity? Sweat uh, meaning. Um, Oh, I'm your... sorry about that, but it's what it means that you do the work and you live in it instead of hiring somebody to do it. Okay. You do the work yourself. Uh, it, it just needs like cosmetics. It's, um, it needs paint. The carpeting should be replaced, um, but it's, it's a good house. It's a phenomenal location. It's uh, a private little enclave right next to a, one of our most popular golf courses. Okay. Well, I'm, and it's almost a half acre lot. I'm definitely not looking to live in it. Um, I would be looking at it strictly from the perspective of a flip. It sounds to me like the homeowner um, feels like this house is going to go for much higher than what it's list what people are probably offering. I'm sure other investors are making offers on it and it's something that the homeowner doesn't like. Right. That's correct. Okay. So do you think that I should just, skip this one move on to the next because my offer I'm, it depends upon what you're you're, you're thinking about off well i'm definitely not going to overpay i'm i'm not going to i'm not going to do the sweat equity because sweat equity means not budgeting for labor um and i do have to pay guys because i don't have the time to fix it myself let alone like i can't fix it for free um what 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 are the offers coming in at we just reduced it um, thirty thousand dollars. I don't know if you know that or not. See it. Um, to get an offer, and it's a probate situation, so the seller is not living there. Okay. They're not going to live there. They're just selling it. Okay. So I mean, we're pretty. We're there's not much room now. When you say there's not much room, is that like there's debt on the property that needs to be paid off? No, that has nothing to do. I'm saying there's not much room from the price that's listed at now to what it's going to sell for. Okay. Okay. Well, why don't I, why don't I take a look? Um, I'll see what my numbers come out to. Um, if it's if it gets denied, it's whatever. Uh, it's not the end of the world. We'll just move on to the next one. Do you have the age of the roof, AC, water heater, all that stuff? The, the age of the roof is original. The water heater is about four years old. Okay. It's a tile roof. Yeah, I saw that. I like it. There's a really good virtual tour of it online. I, I know. Oh my goodness. I was I, I just mentioned that before I called you. I'm like, I love it when agents do this. Yeah, it's it's uh you can walk right through it, just mm -hmm. point and click on the little circles on the floor. Yeah. How much does it cost to do that? Um, our guy's about 300 bucks. Not bad. I think it's well worth it because the more, no, it's not. 
<laughs> you don't think it's worth it? No, I do. It's, oh, it's called yeah. a matter port. Yeah. And uh, it's where it, the camera goes in and takes the roof off of it. Mm-hmm. And uh, you walk around, you can see actual furniture that's in there. If you're in China and you want to buy it, uh, we advertise in China in their multiple listing service. And so people over there can see exactly what they're buying. Yeah. No, I think that's a really good idea. It's an awesome tool. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah, it's an awesome tool. But it might not be for you because the house is... uh, it's it's about 150 homes in this little enclave, underground utilities, that type of thing. Uh, the the price fixed if if you fixed it up and you you got it ready for the the, the true market. If it was in really good shape, is about 370 or so. Uh, so it's not really a fix and flip after you figure commissions and all that stuff in there. But it's, it's, it's if somebody wants to live in it and uh, do some work on their own, it's a really good buy. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, I'm definitely gonna need to. I I think I'm gonna pass on this one. Then you're right. You know, it just it's kind of a waste of time uh, right. slapping an offer on it. Do you have anything else in original condition that I could buy? No, I don't at the time at the moment. But I do get them every once in a while. Okay. Um, you know, if you want to keep my number in mind and stay in touch, yeah, for sure. Uh, or text me your information, I can uh, let you know. Because when I get something, you know, that's a handyman or mm-hmm. a, you know, a real fixer upper, I have certain people that I notify about it. If you want to be one of those, just text me your info. Sounds good. I'll I'll send you my buying you know, criteria, like, you know, funds, contact card, all that good stuff. Yeah, and I'll I'll let you know before it goes on the market. Please, because there we we can't advertise in the MLS. Uh, to I mean, if we put it in the MLS, we have to advertise it to the public. But it's before we put it into the MLS, mm-hmm. like when when we're getting the photos done and all that. Uh, that's when I let my database know about it. Yeah, please do. I you know I really like to and buy then, it before it hits. So you know. It, it hurts me. Oh when, yeah, that's that's when you really gotta find these, as you know. Exactly. That's when you gotta find these things. But it's like it's not only that. It also, once it has the price stamp, it really hurts me. It, it you know it hurts me on the resale, hurts me on the appraisal. Yeah, not not a problem. I'll let you know before it goes on the market. Perfect. Well, I'll fire you over my information. Can I text you at this number? Yes. Okay. I'll send you a text. Thank you, Tim. That's good. Take okay. Care. Thank you My for pleasure. calling. Bye. See you later. Okay. So, Tim, but we are going to retain him as an agent. Um, so, initial drop in. Boom. Okay. So, uh, price asking way too much. Update. And I will abandon this one. Cool. And update our KPIs. Um, Verdon says, what did you mean by it hurts you on the resale? So when when there's that price stamp, like when you go to sell it, sometimes people would be like, oh, I don't like that you made this much money off of it. I'm going to give you a lower offer or like it hurts the appraisal. It makes the appraisal come in a little bit lower once once there's that price stamp. So it's better just to get it without the price stamp. This is just what I hear from my buyers. So I've never experienced it myself, but that's what they say. Okay, refresh.
Okay. All right, next one, Fatima. Um, okay, roof is only eight years old. HVAC and water heater system are intact and have been recently ma maintained. I don't know what intact means. Uh, I guess it means they're working, but they're not disclosing the age of them. I'm just going to call this agent real quick. Hello, thank you for calling Welcome Home Real Estate. You re Okay, let me double that. Hello, thank you for calling Welcome Home Real Estate. You reached the voicemail for fact. Okay, no answer. Here, I'm going to drag to the no response category. And I am going to update my KPIs. That's another MLS listing called. And then back here, Belinda is the next one. Let me pull her up on Zillow real quick. This is in St. Augustine. Okay, so this looks like a shack. Um, how big is it? It's 493 square feet. Holy crap. Yeah, it is. I definitely have to do an addition. Um, definitely overpriced. I'm just going to call them and be like, hey, what's going on with this one? Um, George says, do you prefer agents or agents? It's more analytical versus the sellers where it's really emotional. Okay, no answer. I'm going to. Okay, no answer. So we will put her in the no response category, which will automatically send her a text. We'll track that down as another uh, MLS listing called. And I will move on to the next one. Okay, the next one. Do we have any information on the big ticket items? Okay, another one in a historic district. Um, John says, what platform are you using? 813-437-1709, I'll send it to you. It's an AI powered wholesaling Hello? CRM. Hey, my name is Nathan. I'm calling about that listing that you have on uh, Palm Row. Yeah. So I'm interested. Oh, thank you. I'm I'm interested in it. I just want to get some more information. I'm looking at taking on a flicks uh, on a flip here, but I'll be honest with you. I don't really know what to expect with the historic district. So I just kind of wanted to um, speak with you about it first before I submitted an offer. Mm -hmm. So. Um the, the historic boards in St. Augustine, they're, they're a, a little slow, um, gotta say that. Um, however, 
a lot of the changes have already been approved. Okay. And you, the new owner just needs to um, apply to renovate it because it's expired. But they have been already approved. So okay. you don't, and, and you, in the inside, you can do whatever you want. Just the outside that you cannot change. Also, there is a bunch of uh, taxes, uh, incentives for like keeping the house to the time. Okay. So, what what would be the changes that you're thinking? Okay, so the interior, I can do a full reno of the interior. When it comes to the exterior, like, am I able to spruce it up? Like, I mean, it's kind of dirty, and you know, am I able to pretty much like match the same um, style that it is, but renovate it at the same time? Yeah, you have to keep exactly how it is on the outside. Okay. Um. Go ahead. No, I was. I, I just said okay. I was just acknowledging that I heard you. Yeah. Okay. But the 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 the, the plans. Uh, I don't know if you saw the the documents, like the four plans and what the 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 owner had for it. I don't get to see the private so remarks. No, I'm I'm not an agent. No. Oh, okay. Well, if you want to text me your email, I can send you the four plan. Sure. Here, I'll send that to you right now. Mm -hmm. Can I like put a new roof on it if I need? Um, how old is the roof? Yes. Uh, it's probably seven or eight years old. old. But it, the the owner uh, recommends you to to replace the roof. It's a metal roof. Okay. How about the uh, AC? It, um, it all it's it's really old and it also needs to be replaced. Does it have central? It's a lot of work. That's why it's yeah. Sorry. It does it have the ducts ran? Yes. Okay. Yes. So the electrical, the the AC, everything needs to be updated to the current. Um, Codes. Okay. And I, I, I need. I should warn you that um, the property uh, is contingent on their contract. Okay. Um, we need to get in some answer from the 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 buyer by Monday. Uh, we need to get the binder. If that doesn't work, the property will be back in the market. So just so you know, because if you if you do have an really interest and want to put an offer in, that would be a good time to do it. Okay. Um, why don't I give you a backup offer and then just give me a call if things don't work out with that? How does that sound? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Awesome. Well, I'll I'll get to work on this. I'm assuming it's vacant, right? I'm sorry. Is, is the property vacant? Yes, okay. yes, it is. Perfect. It has been vacant for the past um, year and a half or two. Okay, gotcha. All right, well, I'll get to work on running my numbers, and I'll give you an offer in a little bit. What's your email address? I can email that over to you. Sure. It's Fabi, F-A-B-I. Okay. F, Hayden, H-A-Y-D-E-N at gmail.com so fabi f hayden at gmail.com okay fabi f hayden at gmail.com okay great and yeah. our... and if you want to email me all we may you back with the four plans and some other documents please i uh i texted you my email address before i submit my offer do you mind sending me those documents that way i can be um most accurate yeah, absolutely. Okay. Awesome. I I'd absolutely. I'd love to get to work on it right away. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Yeah, you're you're pretty prompt. Yeah. Bye bye. All right. Take care. Bye. Okay. Make sure that email saved correctly. Okay, update, 
and then we're gonna put this in underwriting. Nathan's gonna blow his nose. Okay, so um, John says, I'm 11 years old. I am watching with my dad. I want to learn how to make money. Young selling and buying houses and kids learn. You can absolutely learn, bro. You can absolutely learn at any age. Um, and I would actually encourage you to start now. You might need to rely on your dad to sign the contracts because if you sign a contract, I don't think it would be legally binding given your age. Um, but first things first, congratulations for being so young and being uh, on this journey. You might need to rely on an adult to sign contracts on your behalf, but that's okay. You know, if they're willing to sign on your behalf, you can do the hard work of finding the opportunities. The platform that I use is Go High Level. Um, it co Go High Level costs ninety-seven dollars a month. Plus, there's a little bit of texting and calling costs. Um, but it's really, really good. It's a CRM and, and this is a topic that you should look into more. Um, there's a whole bunch of different options out there, but no matter what, I think the first thing you need to get is a CRM because you need to have an organized database of all your leads, right? And not only that, but you also need a way to contact them, have the calls, have the text messages, have the emails, have all the details on each opportunity and track them. You need to be able to track them very well all in one organized platform and that's what go high level provides me so congratulations for getting started dude i would say you know if you really want to take shots at it just go cause chaos just go go make offers um it's really really good that you're young and you're getting into this if you want to stay organized and you want to scale i'd recommend looking into a crm um, you can have automations and whatnot. So like I have automated follow-up text messages go out with these realtors where I don't have to do anything and the computer is going to follow up for me. Um, that's a really good thing for you to help make the best use of your time, right? It makes you more efficient. So yeah, dude, just super, super big congrats for getting started so young. Um, that's pretty damn awesome, bro. That's pretty damn awesome. Um, go cause chaos, go just, make a bunch of mistakes and you'll learn from your mistakes and you'll grow. Um, so yeah, just go, go cause chaos. Good work. Look at this. Look at this. Marcella says, so cute. Way to go, John. Um, Verdon says, John, you're 11 years old. Wow. Exclamation mark. Uh, she says, I was playing with Barbies when I was 11. The internet is powerful. Yeah. It's, it's, that's pretty cool, dude. That's, that's pretty darn cool. Proud of you, bro. Okay. Back to work. Okay. Refresh. Track my KPIs. Okay. Next one is Sherry Lowry. Okay, so I'm going to take a look at this one real quick. I want to see if there's any age of the big ticket items. Okay, so new roof and AC system were installed in October of 20. Okay, this is something that like really confuses me. So these agents will be like new roof and AC system were installed in 2016. That was 10 years ago. That was like 10 years ago. No, not 10 years ago. Um, Four plus four, that was eight years ago. That doesn't count as new roof and AC system. And then and then they're like a brand new appliance package was purchased in 2016. Like, stop, stop, stop exaggerating. Um, that's a really good thing for you to know, John, is like these agents will exaggerate. Just because they're a real estate agent doesn't mean they're right. Um, their job and it's in their best, it's in their best interest to exaggerate and to what I like to call polish a turd. Um they like to polish a turd. But the thing is, is no matter how much you polish a turd, a turd is still a turd. So take what they say with a grain of salt and always do your due diligence into these properties because they're going to exaggerate and they're going to pretend like they're a lot better than they actually are. 
Um, so here, let me take down some notes on this. I'm going to go ahead and call this agent. Hello, please state your name after the tone and Google Voice will try to connect you. Nathan Harris. Hi, this is Sherry. I'm so sorry, Mr. Call. Okay, one second. Who's this double dialing me? I have my phone on Do Not Disturb. So when somebody calls and it double dials and they double dial, then I answer. Um, Timothy's calling me, but whatever. I don't want to answer his call right now. Okay, we're going to we're going to double dial Sherry. And that's a big thing as well. Like it's important that you double dial cuz lots of people just on do not disturb. Double dial it actually rings. Hello. Please state your name after the tone and Google Voice will try to connect you. Abraham Lincoln. This is Sherry. I'm so sorry, Mr. Call. Please leave a message and I will call you back. Have a great day. Bye bye. Okay, so what I'm going to do, Lori, that's going to automatically send her a text after one minute reaching out. And then if she doesn't answer it the next day, it's going to send her another text and so on and so forth. We're going to update our KPIs. Um, so we're at 25 MLS listings called, 10 agent conversations, three agents added. Um, seven written offers made for agent follow-up SMS. Okay. All right. Next one, Denise, we made an offer to Denise and we had to cancel and like, I don't, I don't know, be a little bit uncomfortable calling her back to be honest. So I've been like dodging her. Um, let's check out this other one though. Where did we last leave off on this one? Um, George says for the one on Palm, what's your strategy on an offer? I don't remember which one was the Palm one. Minimum price 215 is what they're saying for Catherine. I already have the information on this one. Why is it? I sh this should be an underwriting. Um, not in the other thing. Okay. Well, since we're here, um, I can see that we have two offers ready to be submitted. So we have Shim. Um, and the wholesale price is 312. Okay, I'm gonna put in my offer template. Whoops, offer template. Okay, 
and this one is going to be for 312, 310. 30. Now we're going to drop a 10K so we can make a profit. Um, EMD is going to be three grand. Cool. Let's copy that. And now I want to send in an email, but I don't have his email. So I'm just going to text him my offer, I guess, which is like a happy medium. Uh, cool. Okay. It's going to be a verbal offer since if I text it, I consider it to be a verbal. If I email it, then I consider it to be a written like email or put on a far bar. I consider, consider it to be a written. Oh, I feel like this agent gave me her email, but well. Okay, cool. So there's her email. Um, refresh, make sure it's actually still there. So for this one, we need it below 386. So we're going to grab our offer template. Pop our, pop our address in there, purchase price. Four grand EMD, copy, email, paste, proof of funds, upload, POF. Subject, offer for property address, send. Hey, Diana, I just sent you my offer for the address. Did you receive it? Cool. Okay, I should stand up. I'm like losing my energy. Come on. Okay. And now let's zoom out because it looks better when I'm zoomed out. Okay. So now let's track our KPIs. So that's going to be another written offer. So we're at nine offers so far, which is pretty damn good. Um, okay, we're going to drag that to offer submitted. All right. And let's keep calling. Leland Bishop. Wonder if this one's still available. Let's pull it up on the market. Yeah, it is. Five days on Zillow. I think it was re removed and then added back. Yeah, listing removed and then added back because they don't want people to see how long it's been on market. Uh, so it's obviously way too high of a price. It looks like flood damage that 
I don't think it was properly remediated, is my guess, because just I'm getting funny vibes of like damp, dampness in here. I can't quite put my finger on it. Maybe it has something to do with like the color of the wood, but maybe, maybe not damp. I don't know. Um, let me, let me call. Hello. Hey, Leland. My name is Nathan. I'm calling about that property that you have on Windcrest Drive. Uh, yeah. Hey, so I, uh, I've been following this one for a while and, you know, I don't want to waste your time. Um, so I, I'm just going to bluntly ask, is this one like, is the seller getting more realistic on the price on this one? Because it's, uh, it's still pretty damn high. It, are they ready for like a, a, a real offer or where's, where are they at? I mean, they've reviewed some offers. This is the thing. We get a lot of offers from a lot of people who've never seen the property, never been to the neighborhood, and we've went under contract a couple times. And uh, they they come in high enough that the seller will accept it, and then they go out there, they see it. I guess it's more work than they thought it was. Whatever the case is, they drop out. You know what that sounds like? That sounds so, like players that don't know what they're doing. Yeah, that's exactly what it sounds like. Yeah. So he's not really going to be, if you send him a low offer and you haven't seen the property, you haven't seen the neighborhood, you don't see that the neighborhood's still destroyed from the hurricane, whatever, he's probably not going to take it as serious as an offer from somebody who's went and toured the property and sees what's going on. Or at least if you got a guy you're sending out for your inspections or whatever, that isn't an inspector, that's just like an in-house guy. And I'm by. We don't got to be under contract for me to let them in. Yeah, we like I'm willing to work with people, but we've seen this one you know. from wholesalers. Like this one has came into our inbox a couple of times. We've had colleagues walk it. You know, we're we're ready to move on it, but like our number is definitely not even not even going to start with a one. It's going to be below a hundred thousand. And I'm I'm sure the seller oh. is like, yeah, he wouldn't even go ahead. This is the thing. This is one of thirteen properties he okay. owns. He re he buys these properties cash, remodels them, and sticks a tenant in them, and that's what he did with this about twenty years ago. Okay. And he'll he just has it up for sale while he's got it on his list of properties to get the remodel. Oh, gotcha. If it doesn't sell for something he's interested he in, he really doesn't care. He'll remodel it and put a runner in it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't care. It's like so. I something that doesn't start with a one. I can just tell, save us both some time. Isn't even gonna. He's going to tell me not to even respond to it. Yeah, no problem. I appreciate you being uh, straight up with me. Do you have anything else that you think would be good? I'm looking for any kind of uh, original condition or distressed properties. Not really. I try to stay away from this stuff. If this wasn't a really, really good friend of mine, yeah. I wouldn't have this up for sale because to be transparent, this kind of, I don't. I told him, I said, this listing is like the biggest waste of anybody's time. But yes, I'll put it on MLS for you, but I'm not marketing it. I'm not paying for photography, but yes, I'll, I'll park it on MLS. For yeah. You. Yeah, no, I, I, I mean. I typically don't deal with stuff like this. Just looking at the listing history, I see what you're going through. That's probably frustrating. <laughs> it's so annoying. Yeah. And he's my buddy. And I, I, I asked him, we just renewed the listing like a week ago. And I'm like, are you going to make me do it again? He's like, yeah, I'm going to make you do it again. I'm like, you dick. I'm like, you're a dick. Wow. That's funny. I was like, can we at least put like a different price? He's like, no, no, no. I'm like, you're Jeez. A well, <laughs> Wait, he's a really good friend of mine. So we, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, maybe, maybe, I don't know. A sucker's born every day. You might find somebody that'll pay um, close to what he's asking. You know, we've we've took offers at 150. Uh -huh. I don't think 150 is a sucker if you've got in-house crews. That's what makes the difference. If you've got to hire a GC to come do this work, yeah, it's probably a ninety thousand dollar job. If you're a contractor and you've got all the guys in house, it's a forty thousand dollar job. Yeah, like if you make no you know, profit like and it's all in house and you're just doing it for the sake of keeping people busy, I I could see that happening. 
but that's a very limited amount of people yeah, in that position. So, yeah, we've got a very small buyer. Team, yeah, and I get that. For where you know what I mean, but and look, at, I'm where you're. If I was buying it, I'd have to buy that land value. Yeah, which is probably in that 70, 80 range because I wouldn't remodel that house. I'd put something on still six foot below sea yep. level. I would not put 40, 90 grand into remodeling something that's six feet below. Sea yep, level. exactly. You hit the nail on the head. So I get that. I'm I'm very understanding of where you're coming from, but I, you know, there is somebody that'll be interested, and if not, he's interested because he already owns it. <laughs> yep. Okay, no worries. Well, I appreciate you being uh, upfront with me and saving us both a bunch of time. All right. Well, you have a good day. And if anything comes across my desk, I'll keep you in mind. Sounds good, Leland. Why don't I send you my uh, my buying criteria? Yeah, yeah. Send me something Perfect. Over. Awesome. Thanks. All right. Take thank care. you. Cool. Initial drop in. Boom. Abandoned. Yeah, I have to type it out. Abandoned. Don't resurrect unless below 150K. Update. Okay, let me put him in the abandoned category. And then I will update my KPIs. That was a pretty fire call, wasn't it? Thank you. Thank you, Verdon. Okay. Next one we have is Steven Strong. Um, state sale. One week to get a response from the lawyer. Three days approval from the judge. Here, let me pull this one up. Oh yeah, I remember this one. Um, this one's a pain in the ass. There's so many loops that you loophole holes that you, loopholes that you have to go through. I'm gonna abandon it. Pretty much, it's like a state sale. You have to get approval from the judge. You can't assign it. Um, they strategically go down in they go from highest, next highest, next highest, next highest, 30 day waiting process for you to get an answer. Um, just not really realistic. Okay, here's one that's worth my time. Press one to be connected with the listing agent. Bro, whenever I hear that, this I don't... call may be recorded. Regretfully, I'm unable to take your call at the moment. 
One second, I just got to respond. Sabotaging. Okay. All right. So because Terry had the whole press one to be connected to the listing agent, I'm not even going to call her back. I don't care. Um, but then again, actually looking at this, maybe I will because I have – um i have details on here it's already comp so let me uh let me call her back actually but usually i won't because it's just like a waste of time usually it's just some like automated answering service and they never answer let me double dial press one to be connected with the listing agent Why do I have this details? call may be recorded? Okay, not waiting for her. Harry is going to go into the no response category. That's going to count as an MLS listing called. And we are going to move on to the next one. Let me pull it up on Zillow. Seller says, make a reasonable offer. Um, I don't think the seller knows what reasonable means. This thing has been on market for 337 days and only 15 people have saved it. It's obviously not reasonable. As a matter of fact, I don't even think there's any point in calling this agent. Um, I'm going to say, like, don't resurrect unless below 500. Abandoned, don't resurrect unless below 500 and abandoned. Goodbye. Okay. Uh, what's this one? Nathan will recomp this one. 
Oh God, let me pull it up on Zillow. There's only one photo. Dude, I feel like this is something you'd see in like Black Ops. Interesting. Okay. There's no photos though. Yeah, I'm not even going to offer on this one. This one's like a really old one in our system. It's kind of far out. It's in the middle of nowhere. There's no photos. There's no point in me calling on this one. Um, so I'm just going to abandon it. Okay. Next one. Geraldo. It's only two photos. Why is there only two photos? You know, a while ago, I was making offers on everything. Even if it made absolutely no sense, I was still making offers on it. Uh, also, this one is, I'm going to give this one to Ernesto because Ernesto owns this contact and he has a history with them. So that is now Ernesto's. Cool. Refresh. What am I at? I'm at eight, nine offers. Nine offers. I have two in underwriting. Okay. Let's take a look at this one real quick. 400k what do i need it at i need this one at 249 yeah i'm gonna submit an offer on it let me call her first though Hello. Hey, Janice. My name is Nathan. Hey. I'm calling about that property that you have on, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, Mela, Mela, Mela Luca. Luca. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hey, so I'm kind of interested in it. I mean, the price is like ridiculously high. Um, just wanted to check before I, I went any further. Is that seller willing to come down at least 100K? Uh, he's not going to come down 100K. I know that. He's, I'm having a hard time with the sellers on that. Um, you know, they're, they're, I don't know what they're doing. Um, we've had several offers, you know, at, right at 350, 360 and they, you know, Oh my God. So, and yeah. Dude, man, they should have taken those offers. Yeah. They're not taking those offers. So I'm just telling you, wow. they, they, they wouldn't take the 350. They didn't take the 360, you know, so I, I'm, you know, I, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, no, they wouldn't I, take it. I understand. Them. No worries. No worries. I understand. That must be frustrating, you know, getting all these calls yeah. and and uh and just not motivated sellers. No, no, they think that they're gonna get more than that, so I don't know why. But it's that emotional equity. Yeah. 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 Hey, do you have any any other properties like an original condition that I could buy from you instead? No, I do not. Okay. Okay, no worries. Well, thank you, Janice. Right. You have a wonderful day. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Okay, so there's no point in offer. Uh, Abandon, don't resurrect. Unless under 300K. Okay, track my KPIs.
Boom. I need to go to the gym. Look at these things. They're getting tiny. Bro, what the fuck? I work so hard, and then my muscles get tiny, and then I got to go to the gym again. Like a little chicken wing. Okay. This one. Okay, so David Sanchez. Need this one at 97 as of October, so it's probably changed. Let me check to see if it's still on the market. Okay, it is. Oh, yeah, I remember this one. This one is, like, not motivated, asking way too much. I'm going to abandon this one because I remember it. Some of these ones that I've been, like, procrastinating on, these are, like, really old leads that, like, got pulled back to the initial call category. Check this one out. Okay, asking four forty seven. Offer price three forty three. Okay, not too bad, not too far off. Um, let's see. Is there a conversation history? Who owned this contact before? Okay, Carlos used to own this contact, but nothing really happened. Okay, so we're going to transfer it to me. I'm going to call. Hi, David Mills. Okay, we'll double dial him. Double dial. Hi, David Mill. Okay, so no answer. That's okay. We will move him to the no response category. Track our KPIs. Okay. So we are at 29 MLS listings called, 12 agent conversations, um, four agents added, one verbal offer, eight written offers, um, four agent follow-up SMS, 10 wholesaler follow-up SMS. So, um, yeah, pretty good. We have two in underwriting right now that we can submit, but I'm going to go take a walk because... I've been live for three hours and 44 minutes and I don't really feel like keeping on going. I'd like to go for a walk and then I'd like to clear up my inbox and then I can come back to the offers 
a little bit later on. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me for so long. And I will see y'all on Monday.